I'm just here to set the record straight, all right? She a real one if she's sleeping a bonnet. What up, y'all? Hey. Hey, hey, hey. What's up? What's up? Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. What up, guys? <laughs> Jay talking about we want to or Neil. Hey, Jay. Bro, I'm going to call you as soon as I get off this live because we've been playing phone tag. Seriously. Yes, H-Town in the house. H-Town in the house. Hi, friend. I see Lauren just joined. What's going on, y'all? How your day been so far? How y'all been doing? Great day so far? Okay, so someone said love the youtube love the youtube channel so that's what i'm wanting to discuss y'all we this episode was one for the books um so i wanted to discuss it with you guys i wanted to see who's all seen it check in with y'all on that um but this episode that just released today for leave it to Latoya on my YouTube channel uh, was about basically a sit down conversation with my father um, and turned into a whole conversation about unforgiveness. Uh, so I wanted to talk to you guys about that. See if you guys have checked out the episode yet. If you haven't already, make sure that you go onto my YouTube page today. You can actually click the link in my bio and it will link you right to today's episode. And you, if you haven't subscribed already, please do, please do, please do. Um, yeah, I wanted to chop it up with y'all. Yes. Hey, Mika. I see my cousin Mika in here. She said the episode was so good. Thank you. Yes. If you haven't already, check out Leave It to Latoya, the episode today. Um, it was... Ooh, we main. I'm sure that you guys, I'm not the only one. I'm sure I'm not the only one who had some, you know, issues with unforgiveness before or, you know, might have had a strained relationship with a parent, a family member, a friend. Um, but in this particular conversation, I'm dealing with um, some issues with my father who joined me for a conversation. Um, somebody said I'm my dad's twin. Yes, baby. Okay, it's in the pantry. You want to get it out of the pantry? You want mommy to get it for you? Hold y'all, I got Mommy got to do mommy duties real quick. Let me get the water out the... Hold on. Hold on, Pooh. Hold on, it's okay. I'll get it for you. I got you, I got you, I got you, I got you. All right, y'all. I just need to get some water out the pantry real quick. Because... My little muffin is thirsty. There you go. That's it. It don't take tears. Okay. You gonna come outside? Wake up. Wake this in. Okay. I'm gonna, you have to be a little quiet if you're gonna be playing over there because mommy's about to have a conversation. You playing what you're saying? Okay, we got the kids settled. We good, we good, we good. Um, so yeah, <clears throat> today's conversation on Leave It to Latoya was about, you know, really one, knowing how to honor your mother and your father. I know that that is one of the, um, 10 commandments even. And I tell a story on the show about how, um, something in my spirit basically was like, go read the 10 commandments. I was on a flight. I don't want to tell the whole story because I really want y'all to go and log on and actually like watch the episode. But um, something in my spirit told me to go and read the Ten Commandments. The one that stuck out to me the most was honor your mother and your father. And at that time, I had a very strained relationship with my father. And I was like, how am I supposed to honor somebody I really don't all the way like? And that's just as real as it is. I, I don't really all the way like, you know get them and um i ended up calling my dad 
and saying, hey, I need to I need to have a conversation with you. And at that time, I was like, we need to talk some things out. And I knew by the end of that conversation, I was going to have to forgive him, period. So um, I ended up doing that. And when I tell y'all the release of that, what? the release of that burden. What is that, baby? Oh, it might be a little bug in there. Okay, go put it back in the box. It's okay. It's okay. It's not going to bite you. Um, that did so much for me. Um, but also I'm on the, after having that conversation, I realized that sometimes even the way that I, you know, the relationships that I have, especially with men, um, I, how do I say this? Cause I don't want to say the way I pick, but after talking to my dad and getting a better understanding of the man that he is and some of the decisions that he made and how he, you know, even when it came to money and stuff like that, how he would get, you know, money from his mom and money from his aunts. And they're the ones that, no, you didn't take your sandy hand and go put it on my drink. Where's your water? Go get your water. Oh, I got it. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Don't put your sand in my drink, baby. Um, But I never honestly expected or have had this expectation that a man is supposed to um oh god how do i say this i'm y'all y'all I'm, try, I'm trying to choose my good words today but allowing a man to take care of you in any kind of way like i've always prided myself on oh well i'm an independent woman i do for myself i don't need nobody to do nothing for me blah 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 and that's partially because i never was protected by a man like that or provided for by a man. So I thought, especially after being raised by a single woman, yes, baby, I see it. Okay, go put it right there. Um, that that's the way it was supposed to be all the time. And uh, yeah, now I'm seeing that because of some of my father's decision making and some of the things that I saw, that was never a box that someone had to check off. Like, you know, has to be able to really bring uh, money to the table. It was all about love. It always has been about love and genuine. I just wanted a healthy relationship with a man. And I feel like we can't really have these healthy relationships until we do some fixing on the inside, one. And two, get a better understanding of you know some of the things that have happened in our lives um that now have an effect on our relationships so um yeah man today's topic was super heavy um and i really learned to have grace for my father i really did i mean he's not a changed man by any means but it was really cool to sit down and have a conversation with someone who has some real accountability, with someone who had no problem saying he was sorry, who realized their mistakes. Um, it, it's a great conversation. Um, I've had a lot of people in the comments that are fathers who have said, yo, your dad's story is one that I needed to see, or I'm so glad I learned a lot from your dad in this conversation. And one of the main things that my dad said was don't, he was a late bloomer. He learned hit, you know, about his mistakes or what a true father was later on, you know, after his kids had gone on to be adults and now he has all these regrets. And what he was saying is, listen, don't make the same mistakes that I made. Um, so I'm so glad that we were able to have this conversation. It was a tough one. It was very emotional. It was heavy. Um, but it was so necessary to have. Um, so yeah, if you haven't already, yes, parents, so, somebody says, see, my parents don't think they do anything wrong. I don't know what it is about a certain generation or just parents period, but yes, that is something now that I am a parent, I am very conscious of accountability is so key in any relationship. When you've hurt somebody or when somebody is really saying, Hey, what you said might have hurt my feelings or what you did might have hurt my feelings and then someone comes and justifies it or it's a because I said so. I think we as parents need to really, really, really like unpack that a little bit. Let's 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 uh really uh 
figure out a better way because at a time, you know, there was a time where it was just only because I said so. And then we don't realize that, like, especially as our kids get older, they have opinions. And just because we have an opinion doesn't mean we're disrespectful. It means we have an opinion and we have a right to say how we feel in a respectful manner. But because we might have something to say, it doesn't always have to mean it's disrespectful. It means, hey, I have a mind of my own. I've developed this mind of my own that also has an opinion. And I should be able, if I'm able to speak it freely in the world, I should be able to have a healthy, respectful adult conversation with my parents as well. And I feel like that's exactly what happened with my father in this conversation that we had on Leave It To Latoya. So if you haven't checked out the episode yet, please do. Um, it's live right now. Uh, if you want to know how to get to it, you can either go to YouTube and just look up Leave It To Latoya or... You can um, go on my IG page when we're off this live, of course, and you can click the link in my bio and it will take you straight to today's episodes.